Ariana Grande is by far one of the biggest talents out in the music world right now, and not the least of which is because of her singing ability and overall loving personality that fans can help resonate with. But she also has a bunch of style and presence that was honed not just on Broadway, but on Nickelodeon. Ariana's true career started off there via multiple shows, and then that blossomed into her music career. But as many are more than happy to note, Grande's time on Nickelodeon wasn't without it wasn't without issues and major flaws. Allow me to break it down for you. But first, do me a favor. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe to watch more videos like this. Let's get started. It's a widely held belief that when you're on a kids show for networks like Disney Channel and Nickelodeon and such, that you just can't help but to get along with your various castmates. But in truth, they're still human. And not all people get along with one another. And even in young kids and teens world that these people live in, there are egos and fears and judgments. This leads us to one of the two major feuds that Grande had in her time in Nickelodeon. This first feud is interesting and ironic in all sorts of ways, as we're going to spell out for you. When it comes to Nickelodeon, and that continued for many years via shows like Victorious starting Victoria Justice. It was your standard Nickelodeon show and would be the birthplace of many things, including the TV rise of Ariana Grande. From the get-go, there was said to be all sorts of tension on the set. And then, for a random reason, the show got cancelled, which didn't make sense because it was one of Nickelodeon's biggest shows at the time, and could have easily gone on for more seasons. You are just punched me right in the face. According to Ariana, the show ended because of Victoria wanting to go on to a solo music and television career and not be tied down by Nickelodeon. Victoria refuted that entirely. Furthermore, she threw shade at Ariana Grande, who was becoming the breakout star of the show for doing certain things behind the scenes. Whether the beef is still going on is a bit up in the air, but the decision to leave Victorious, especially amongst the rumors, turned out to be a bad move for Justice. Her career floundered after that, and Ariana has went and exploded to the point where Grande is one of the biggest pop stars today. And Victoria isn't really doing much, so Grande did come out looking better than Victoria Justice. You have to think it affected her heavily. Ariana Grande was becoming a major star because of Nickelodeon, as we just mentioned, and after the end of Victorious, they decided to keep her going by putting her with iCarly co-star Jeanette McCurdy to do the show called Sam and Cat. It's an A minus, and I get a broken eye and a black nose. My dog has a black nose. It's so cute. It's like a baby meatball. The problem, though, is that during the run of the show, McCurdy went and did an open letter of sorts and noted that the concept of fake friends, meaning ones who seem to be your friend but aren't. She did not name names, but it was very clear to fans and others that she was talking about Ariana Grande. She noted that while they used to have fun together, they eventually became estranged because of a certain someone loving drama and gossip. McCurdy said that McCurdy even said that working together with a certain person was detrimental to her mental health. It also came out that the two butted heads on set a lot. And this, among other factors, would lead to Sam and Cat not lasting long on Nickelodeon at all. Now, not unlike Victoria Justice, McCurdy hasn't had the biggest career after leaving Nickelodeon. And though she's potentially attached to the iCarly continuation on Paramount+, Plus, it doesn't compare to what Grande is doing. But in truth, the bigger deal here is that in her young life, she's already had two bitter engagements with her co-stars that were supposed to be her friends. To be fair, McCurdy did weigh in on Grande's engagement that happened recently and wished her the best. But at the time, it was not a good position to be in. And that's only the start of certain things that happened behind the scenes at Nickelodeon. If you want to look at the truly dark side of Nickelodeon, diehard fans of the network will note the name of Dan Schneider. Why? Because this was a man who was instrumental to some of the big name shows of Nick Nickelodeon's prime. You see, at one point in time, he was a writer for the beloved sketch comedy show, All That. But after he proved himself there, he went on to being a producer and showrunner making big name shows like The Amanda Show, Drake and Josh, and Victorious. Now, on the surface, having a guy with that kind of ability to make great shows is vital to a studio because they will always go to trust a talent to help make things better for them and their network. But for Schneider, things weren't always what they seemed. Because as many people close to Ariana noted, Dan Schneider was not the best person behind the scenes and made people like Ariana do things that were very much inappropriate. This led to him being released by Nickelodeon in dramatic fashion in 2018. So what exactly did Dan Schneider do to get the label of creepy? Well, various videos of him popped up 
recording the various ladies of shows like iCarly and Victorious in rather inappropriate or creepy ways, such as in one scene in Victorious where she was being made into a sandwich, which in and of itself is rather weird. But he recorded that scene as it was happening on his personal phone. Then he was also more than happy to go on to record videos of him having the stars of iCarly and Victorious. He never posted a video of him scaring the guys, coincidence. But. Wait, there's more. During that time on Sam and Cat, they would do bits where Cat, Grande's character, would voice various thoughts that were going on in her head to the camera. Some of the things she said were creepy, but also filled with all sorts of innuendos, such as one time where she had an object in her hand that could very well be correlated with a certain adult item, or another time where she did a whole bit about trying to put her big toe in her mouth and sucking on it. This is just one of the many times when Schneider had the ladies of this show bare their feet and do weird things with them. In fact, during the Sam and Cat series, he actually posted a tweet asking the fans to send in pictures of their feet. Yeah, that's not creepy at all. So his control over Grande honestly led to certain bad moments in her life overall. There's a lot of things that actors have to do to truly embody the role that is before them. However, when it comes to Ariana Grande, Dan Schneider felt that the character of Cat should truly stand out from the others of the cast, so they had her dye her hair red. The actor who plays Archie on Riverdale had to do the same thing as of others before these two. The problem though was that, in Grande's own words, she had to continually dye her hair for the show, including doing it every other week, which over the course of years completely destroyed her hair. And in fact, if you look at her hair on Victorious and then look at her on Sam and Cat, you might notice something different with her hair. Her hair was so damaged with the constant dyeing that she had to wear a wig for the spinoff. Even today you'll see that she always wears her hair up unless she has to in order to hide the damage done to her hair. So given all of this, one needs to ask the question. The fact of the matter is that many Nickelodeon stars have gone on record to talk about the creepiness and inappropriate behavior that Dan Schneider had done on the various sets of various shows, including Jeanette McCurdy in various ways, but Ariana Grande hasn't. But why? Shouldn't she be someone who openly talks about this? Not exactly, because as many have alleged, something that Grande won't speak badly about him or Nickelodeon, it's because of all the wonderful things they did for her over the course of her time with them. Also, not unlike certain child stars, they don't come forward until much later in their lives because at the time, they were just used to it. Regardless, it'll be up to Ariana to decide if she speaks about all of this or even if she speaks on it at all. But with that being said, there you have it everyone, a look at the various things that happened on Nickelodeon that definitely made Grande a bit worse for wear and likely a bit paranoid about potentially working with them again. Do you think that these events were not as bad as they were made out to be? Or perhaps they were even worse than they were made out to be? Do you think Grande is glad she's not doing a lot of acting for them or others anymore? Go ahead and leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time on the channel with another video like this.